Alright guys, how's it going? I'm on the old camera today because my GoPro I left it on last night and it's a little bit dead and I've only got the one battery for it so far. I know, it's called error. So, we are doing a, I don't know if you heard of the Stanifordin, um, it's like a meal prep, it's called Monster Mash, it's high protein, low carbs, low fats and it's really good for you and it tastes amazing. I made it for the first time last time, it's totally customizable din dins and you can do what you want with it. So, you need your protein sauce, so I'm using this beef mince, 20% fat. We're just going to brown this first. So this is the protein is 18.4 uh, grams of protein per 100 grams, right? And there's 500 grams in there. So there's only 100 grams of protein, and we've got two of them. And then um, you just need your rice or whatever. If you've got a rice cooker, very good. But yeah, so you can put anything in this. So we've got a bag of spinach. Um, we have got fresh carrots to cut up, or you can um, put some mixed vegetables in it. Um, so, bone broth, chicken stock, anything like that. So I've got the chicken stock, this is all from Tesco's. Um, and then I've got um, like a, a pound of um, sweet potatoes, and that's gonna get chopped up. And uh, optional things as well, like uh, peppers and things like that to make it a bit colorful. So we're just gonna brown the mince now. All right, the mince is browning, and while the mince is browning, you haven't got to sit there and watch it or anything. Just, just keep it on a lowish sort of uh, heat, and just keep turning it over every now and then. While that's doing that, we're going to chop up some um, peppers and sweet potatoes, and um, start lining. So you need a big casserole sort of dish. Uh, if you've got a lid for it, even better. I haven't. I just put another casserole dish over the top. So just a massive thing to put in the oven. And the cooking it, you just do it to your sort of. Um, uh, consistency until it's how you want it basically. I just do it until basically the sweet potatoes are good to eat because um, it's called Monster Mash for a reason and you just bomb it down. I'll uh, <laughs> we'll get to that in a minute. So the oven is preheating ready for all this. The uh, mince is browning. We are going to just okay. So the mince is browning. Go open the spinach and just chuck this literally when it cooks just goes to like nothing basically so we can totally fill that up okay so a lot of nice in a lot of greens no problem uh, now we're gonna cut pack it up keep stirring the uh, the mince there brown it while it's brown and feel free to chuck in some salt some pepper give it a little bit more flavour let's get a good knife out peppers, easy enough as you just cut round the top pull it out ok and then slight squeeze, we're going to cut it into these sort of uh, pepper rings Alright, so at the minute it's just full of um, uh, spinach and peppers in there. All the good stuff. So, your protein sauce there, which is whatever you want it to be, you can chuck ground beef, ground bison, uh, chicken, anything you want. It's totally up to you. This is so customizable. Um, you give your sweet potatoes a little rinse and then. And these you just want like little bite sized chunks, so if you're taking an average little circle thing. Just makes it easier to cook. So, about that. That's all you want, thin bite sized chunks. Chuck some mixed vegetables in there. But all the spinach makes it look more full than it is. That will all condense down. 
you want to strain your meat as well, so I'll show you in a minute. We'll probably put one more potato in there. Uh, it doesn't have to be sweet potatoes if you don't like them, you can use um, red potatoes and things like that. Alright, so when you put everything that you want into there, we've got sweet potatoes, we've got peppers, we've got spinach, we've got some peas, some carrots. Um, so it's looking pretty good in there right now. So we're going to strain the mince um, or beef, chicken, whatever you want to put into it. Alright, get rid of all that. Right, the key thing is about cooking it in the oven, you don't like leave you don't want to just make it dry. You don't want to. Um, you don't want to burn off all the all the water and the oil and, and the stuff that's in there. Basically, you're not trying to burn it all off. Just cook it till it's done. And when it's done, is up to you. You've already browned them in, so it's just until you want your consistency. You can even put the sweet potatoes in the microwave, soften them up a bit before you lob them in. All right. So we've strained that. It's going in. Uh, uh, uh. If you can find bone broth, man, that's so high in protein and nice, and just, just pour it all over it. Um, chicken stock, stuff like that, chicken stock works amazing. So much food, like, but there's nothing in it. Okay, now we're gonna add the chicken stock made of British chicken in there. So get your bone broth, chicken stock, whatever it is, and just absolutely cover it. Remember, you're not trying to burn this off in the oven. Get it in there, get it all soaked. That is gonna give it so much flavor. Put chicken in it, it's like a Sunday dinner just mashed into a thing. But like, good for you, like proper. All right, so that is all good. Yeah, it was, uh, the stock's gathering at the bottom. If you need a top up, Something simple like the chicken stock cubes, you can make your own. Oh, there's a stuff at Tesco, you can get it in like it looks like an energy drink can or a beer can. It's just full of chicken stock. It's wow, so nice. And then all I do is after I've cooked it, one of these fresh things of rice. So you do this two minutes in the microwave, push, and cook your rice fresh every time. And then um, I just bosh it in these uh, containers, and I've got food for the week. I do this once, I don't know how long. 20 minutes prep. So there it is currently. Okay, gummy scrum. Let's bang this in the oven. Right, we're going to pump it up a bit. I'm going to put it on about 180. And I'll just cover it with another one. And that's it. I'll leave it in there for about 20 minutes. So it's nearly five to whatever and I'll come back about quarter past eleven and we'll take that out and see what it looks like. Uh, so guys, so when I put all the stuff on the computer, it just, uh, the, the the outro of me pulling it out of the oven and stuff wasn't there, but luckily I got some photos, so I can show you some photos of me um, putting it in to the trays and also I can show you straight away. There we go, that is my dindins, that is what it turned out to be and that is what I'll be having soon. So there you go, and that is good. You want that moisture in there because you don't want them to be dry. So, thanks for watching. Eat good, eat healthy, stay strong.